Microsystems or drip systems can be an extremely effective way to water our trees, our shrubs, our flowers, or our vegetable gardens. They are very effective if maintained properly. These systems operate at a low pressure and supply a low volume of water directly to the root zones of our plants. This causes less disease and gives us healthier plant growth. The slow application of water allows for better absorption into our soil and less runoff or puddling. A microsystem is a series of small sprinklers. They'll shoot a four to six foot radius. They broadcast over a given area, which helps if we're starting with new seed. However, because we're shooting water into the air, we can have more misting and the wind can affect it and move the water away from where I want it to be applied. Evaporation can also be higher because the water's shooting in the air. Drip systems trickle water directly at the soil surface. This helps in windy situations. It is also extremely useful in odd shaped or irregular beds. There are two types of drip equipment. One is a single source emitter. This emitter is going to trickle water down in one location. It's great for watering an individual plant in your shrub beds or an individual plant in your garden bed. You can also get it with inline emitters built directly into the pipe. So as we actually lay this pipe out, these emitters are spaced usually at 6 inches or 12 inches. We, with this, as the emitter operates, it's actually going to soak into the soil and spread laterally this way. So with this tubing, we're actually going to water a whole strip of soil. Because of the distance between these and the fact that it goes directly into the soil, it's not ideal when we do seeding. With the seeds, we're going to need to hand water until the little roots get down and they're in the soil and are able to pull the water out from what's being applied from this drip line. When we're working with inline emitter tubing, we want to make sure that our lines are spaced appropriate to the soil type we have. For most of our soil types, we stick to about 12 inches between our lines. In sand, it has to be at 12 inches. In loam, we can actually spread it out to 18 and in clay, we can take it out to 24 inch spacing if we choose to.
Emitter placement is important to ensure effective watering and healthy balanced root growth. Place the emitters over the root ball for new plantings. For individual plants, place the emitter at the canopy of the plant to focus water on the roots. Make sure to fasten the tubing with wire anchor pins every two to three feet and cover with mulch to reduce tripping hazards. Micro and drip systems can easily be updated by adding or removing emitters to balance the plant needs. For example, emitters surrounding drought tolerant native plants can be easily removed once the plants are established since they do not need additional watering. Micro and drip systems can be 90% efficient. However, it's important we check for leaks, breaks, and emitter placement to ensure we maintain this efficiency. Watch for supply lines when doing garden maintenance as they can easily be cut. Leaks can be more difficult to detect in micro drip systems. Look for puddles or water shooting into the air. This may indicate broken parts. Each year, the emitters need to be checked to make sure the water is moving to the roots. To do this, we dig a small hole with a shovel and check to make sure water is where the plant is. Look for moisture in the soil, not saturated soils. Check the filter at the start of each zone for dirt and contamination. Similar to other irrigation systems, microdrip watering times can be scheduled using a controller. If you use a hose connection, the watering times can be programmed with a hose timer the same way you would with a controller. For more on scheduling, check out the controller video. To learn more ways of how to use water wisely, check out the CRD website. Mm -hmm.